What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of The Dig, a series dedicated to helping you improve profitability on your farm. Today's episode is gonna be an in-season check-in. We wanna let you guys know what we have going on here at the Atlanta PFR farm right now and give you some updates on a couple other sites too. The only kicker is, is we're in the studio, obviously, and we really need to be out there if we're gonna do an in-season check-in. It's gonna be a little warm. I think it's like 95 degrees today, but it's a little early, so it shouldn't be too bad. I'm Aaron. This is Colin. Let's dig in. All right, guys, come on, let's get out of here. Wait, wait for me, guys, wait a minute. All right, Colin, we made it out here to the field. Yep. Speaking of being out here in the field, look, let's talk about what Indiana PFR has been doing. What has Indiana PFR been doing? The better question is what haven't we been doing? Seems like everything. We've been trying to wrap up post on corn and soybeans, get side dressing done, make some apps here and there, um, whether it be foliar product study, um, you name it, right? We've always got apps going on. Got the high yield going on, doing some fertigation down there right now on the high yield corn. So just a lot of stuff, but we're kind of kind of over the hump and we're, we're slowing down now. So. Let's go back to that foliar product study. I was, I was just thinking the other day, you know, on a, on a year with potentially lower commodity prices, is it worth it to even do a foliar nutritional product on your crop? And I was just watching a video the other day from Luke Schulte over at Field Agronomist over in Ohio, and I thought it was an outstanding video. The link is below, you should check it out. He really dives into the different PFR proven um, foliar products that we've tested in the past. Um, some of the products we're testing this year, but then he dives into the different micronutrients that are in those packs. So I, I thought it was a very impactful video and a really relevant video for the year we're having. Yep. That's just one of the few studies, that foliar product, right? Just one of the few studies that we're gonna have apps coming up on here and very soon. We've got uh, a lot of fungicide applications we're gonna be making here in, in no time. It seems like it's uh, time's going by quickly. You know, we're gonna have a lot of tasseled corn and R3 soybeans here before we know it. Yep, you are not wrong. Let's go check out some of the rest of the farm. Okay. All right, Colin. I think this corn, we got the whole knee high by 4th of July thing covered yeah, no, for the I most part. I think this, this study is, got that, definitely got that one covered. Speaking of corn though, mm -hmm. let's talk about Goner, Nebraska and their PFR farm. We just talked oh. to Mitch and Ben the other day and they mentioned how good their crops look, right? even though they had a hailstorm come through. They did have a fairly significant hailstorm on what, June 1st, I believe is what it was. Yeah, something like that. Um, but no, they're they're starting to ramp up some of their fungicide applications. They're gonna, they're gonna fire up their wind machine. So if you guys don't remember that wind machine that we built here in house and sent it out to, to Gona, Nebraska to do some green snap research with that. So if you guys, if you guys are interested about that or just maybe forgot a little bit about that, check out the link below. Um, it'll take you back to a previous dig video that we shot with that wind machine. I, I think it's cool. I think that's one of the coolest things we do with the uh, PFR. I would agree. It is yeah. pretty sweet. Didn't you just spray some post herbicide on some beans over here somewhere? Yeah, I just said. Let's, let's go check and see if the weeds are dying. I like that. Yeah, that's a good call. Hopefully I don't have to respray it. You know, Colin, I think we got a pretty good uh, pretty good kill on this stuff. Beans look pretty good. Yeah, this is the starter, starter on soybeans, right? Uh, yeah, we have one of our starter on soybean studies. I was just talking with Tyler over in Ohio at our, at our Ohio PFR farm. He was talking about his soybean starter study and how, you know, early that, er, that earlier vegetative growth stages, he was seeing some of those color differences. Because I was, I was asking him if you've seen any differences, and that's what he mentioned. How how is how is everything over in Ohio doing? You know, from my understanding, Ohio makes it seem like they got a beautiful looking crop out there right now this year. Um, they're pretty heavy no-till over there, and they can stay pretty saturated a lot of times in the spring and. I think this year they just got those perfect timely rains. Everything looks pretty good from what I understand. Uh, I think they said probably 10 days they'll have some R3 soybeans. So they'll be doing some fungicide applications and doing all that fun stuff. Yeah, I think the Ohio PFR farm is probably the garden of all of, all of our PFR farms. They've had just a astronomical amount of growing growing season. They've had a lot of heat, um, you know, to be able to skyrocket through those, through those growth stages. So yep. Aaron, is there anything else we should go check out while we're out here? Um, you know, probably not. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that we could, but it's pretty hot. Yeah, it is getting hot. What do you say we just head back to the shop? Let's head back to the shop. Yeah. I'm good with that. Aaron, let's take a break real quick. We're almost there, but... Got some shade got some from this tour buggy. This is like the first shade we've seen in this whole trek it's back. It's like finding a tree in the desert, you know? Yeah. 
You know, it's kind of ironic we see the Stewart buggy here though, because we're actually going to be using one of these here before too long. That's a very good point. So the month of July and some of towards the end of June, we'll spend a lot of time doing private summer tours, not just here in Atlanta, but across all the PFR farms uh, that we have across our marketing area. And if you have not ever experienced a private PFR summer tour, I would really encourage you to get out there and visit one of our PFR farms, get a hold of your seed advisor, your dealer, any representative from Bex that you deal with, and they can put you in contact with the right people. We'd love to get you out on one of these farms. It's basically a, a half a day spent talking agronomy, PFR, whatever you have going on in your farm that you want questions about. That's what we spend our day doing. It's not a sales pitch to plant Bex and, and we're not gonna talk about this hybrid as opposed to this hybrid. It's all about agronomy and PFR at the end of the day. And uh, it's a great tool and uh, we get a lot of success with it. So really encourage you to check one of those out if you can. Aaron, I don't even know if I can even make it to the rest of the trip back to the shop. Well, I tell you what, I got an idea. Okay. Remember the whole snap thing? Let's try that, okay? Maybe we can just snap right back into the okay. studio. Right. Ready? One, two, three. Ah, <sighs> air conditioning. Ah, <sighs> feels so much better. Feels so much better. <sighs> We really hope you enjoyed this episode. Just a little bit of a snippet of what's going on in our PFR farms. Yep. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you get notifications when new episodes get released. Speaking of new videos, if you have any questions from this video or maybe you have a topic that you would like us to cover on another video, be sure to drop a comment below and we'll check it out. And with that, we've got to go back out in the heat because we have wheat to cut in the heat. I'm a poet and I didn't even Look know Look at you go. I know it. I know it. Hey, we hope you guys have a good one, and we'll see you again on another episode of The, the Dig. Dig! And hopefully the AC is working on the combine because the sprayer is a little iffy lately. Like